Hmm. I was just thinking what the uh, guide dog told me about hitting people a couple times and just letting them run, not actually killing them. <clears throat> and I just realized that if I do that, I'm not going to get their loot. Ooh, that's a big trade-off. This grocery store feels so old, doesn't it? Man, look at this cash register. in the rays of light coming through the window. Okay. What do you have? Hazelnuts, peanuts, coffee, apple, and fish. If I remember right, coffee decreases your exhaustion, making it so you can avoid sleeping a little bit longer. Coffee beans will immediately energize you, but it's very unhealthy. Also, damn, 200 monies. 80 money for like a slice of apple. See, food is already unbelievably expensive, but it's going to get more expensive. I'm sure of it. Mm, fish. Fresh fish filling, but makes your throat feel dry. I'm not worried about water right now. I guess it'll probably become more limited later on, but for right now, I have plenty of fresh water. Hmm. Mm, peanuts are cheap, but I don't think it's worth eating nuts. I think they should only be traded to the kids. Yeah, like how much is this stuff worth? What if I... Hmm. Can I get a fish? 230. Like, I can give them some broken scissors. That's 12. This is 42. Oh. Fishing hooks. Are those used for anything in particular? Oh, these charms are worth 200 each. That's huge. But again, I have to wonder whether it's worth trading these things or selling them. Like the nuts, definitely save them for the kids. What about the charms? I don't know. Just have to see if anybody else is interested in it. Pocket watch, I think I most definitely want to sell that. Are they going to give me the money, by the way? Or am I just going to be overpaying for the thing? I think I'm going to be getting it because it says 22 plus 181. So, yeah. Okay. No, don't, don't do that. I'm not that hungry yet, so I think I'm going to save the fish. I don't want to waste it. I think food will get bad, by the way. Meaning if you have something fresh like this, like it says fresh fish, not like salted or smoked or whatever, I think it will go bad. So I probably should eat it today. Otherwise I might get all weird. Let's look at all the descriptions for these things, actually. The lateral line is called that for a reason. Every fish sees its line unfold in a stream of possibilities. Sometimes that line is a fishing line. What about these fishing hooks? Clara the Deranged says that everyone has a hook to grab, but she's a manipulator. What everyone actually has is a knot to untie. I have already looked at everything else. Yeah. Hey, kid. A little star. A little castle thingy. You're doing good work. Teensy. You poor thing. We still think you're good. We who? Well, Tata, Rubber, Philia, Tag, Cuckoo, Lelia, Ruffle. Also, Ruta and Tisha. And Capella only said good things about you. 
That's like a whole army. So I'm not alone. Tata brought kittens yesterday. Six. Do you want a kitten? Right, a kitten. Exactly what I need. Where's my kitten? <laughs> Do you actually have a kitten? Yeah, kids are great with trading stuff. They just have morphine on them and stuff. Yeah, there's very different symbols for bartering and for money. Money is obviously just the money symbol, that little silver thing. Bartering is that, like, shaking hands with somebody thing. And, yep, they are interested in the chestnut. Worth four. Can't get anything with that. What is that? I think that was the wind rustling through the tree. For a second I thought like it was about to start raining or something. I don't know, I'm still getting used to all these noises. They're freaking me out, especially the one of people just smashing stuff in the distance. I feel like I should fill up as many bottles of water as I can early on and just like store them away. I don't know if the water will go bad over time, just like food. Maybe. It's still worth a try though. It's not like it costs anything to just fill them. Immunity boosters. Oh right, they have nothing. They want to trade with me. What are you talking about? Ask for repair. What is that? Can't repair anything. All right. Metal scrap. Invaluable if one needs to fix a gun or a relatively complex contraption. They are interested in the charms. And matches. Well, I don't want to trade for stuff before I know if I need it. Grindstone. I could get the grindstone for the scrap name. Yeah, that seems like a fair trade. I don't think I'm going to find other uses for that. For the scrap name. Thanks. Sharp objects are frowned upon for they're capable of disrupting the sacred wholeness of the body. But you can't cut bread with tradition so people end up breaking the rule. Prompter. I find myself exhausted. Soon to fall. <clears throat> Excuse me. Dead tired, they say. I wonder what it means. I feel like these tragedians are sort of helping me play my part in the play. The play of everything that's going on. Like, they almost seem like a, a very seamless sort of tutorial. Not really a tutorial, but just like a hints. Right? It's like telling me about exhaustion. That's one of my resources or, or things to manage. <clears throat> it means you need some sleep. But woe is me, for I have no place to sleep. Doors lock before this low tragedian, now unwelcome here in his hometown. Is there no bunkhouse for the needy homeless in the town? Who knows? But you, Barak, are no mere tramp. A hero such as you won't be let in. A lockpick might let me in, if I could get one. That I do have for you. Here, have one. Still. What? Go home, Barak. Repose will do you good, but should you find another cot, be quick to steal sleep. Sweet dreams, misfortune seeker. <laughs> hmm. Thanks, and you too. Now I can pick locks. One lock pick. I can either cut someone with it or use it to pick a door lock. Either way, it will break after a couple of uses. We can actually use this as a weapon. Oh damn, you can. I'm definitely not going to. It'd be a waste. Sweet. 
Swift. Do you still have a name? What do you mean, still? It will remain with me even as I die. The father threw his out. He's faceless now. Makes me kind of sad. Why did he do that? Guess he did something bad. I wonder what. Or something good. That's how it usually goes. Really? Do you know for sure? Because he can't tell now. Of course, he understood something very important. Oh, do they just give me the, the name of their father? The scrap name? Yeah. They're faceless now. They don't talk. <laughs> That's disturbing. Chickity. That's a cute name. <clears throat> one and two and one and two. Step has gotten into you. Who breathes air in the fall dies before he sees it all. Nice poem. You write that yourself? If only. I'll never be that good. When did you last sleep? The circle is around your eyes. The wheezing. Just observing facts. Are you an outsider? Mm, I'm a local, just been away for a while. Mom says that while twire, chicken pox, crowberry, swish, and joy all bloom, you have to sleep every five hours or your head will explode. Yeah, the twire stuff, I think that was, I remember that being like a m sort of mist in the air. Not the infection, not like the miasma things of infection, but I think it was like, it had something to do with plants, like blooming plants releasing something at a certain time of year, causing this orgy haze. She seems to be an expert on local herbs. Um, yeah, looks like in the maw they like me a little bit more. Nice. <clears throat> smoked fish, so this one would last for a while. Mm. Yeah, it never spoils. Causes ravaging thirst, but that's not a problem right now. Let's trade them a charm and one match for one smoked fish. I'm figuring, figuring probably best to get as much food as possible, at least long-term you know, non-spoilable food in the early game, and stockpile it. How much time has passed, by the way? Oh, it's 10.39. Maybe time does pass while I'm talking. I should check the time before and after a conversation. Starling. A murderer walks the streets. Human or shop knock, who knows? But our kids are outside too. Won't stay home no matter what we tell them. I don't like either of these options. Why can't you just ground them? I mean, they said they won't stay home no matter what we tell them, so... I think that's the answer there, they just don't listen. But why can't you just ground them? Everything's terrible. It all started with that awful tower. There's nothing we can do now. Kids do whatever they damn well please. Can't say anything to them. I mean that. Try and the words stick in your throat. They've become complete strangers to us. But what about common blood, I ask you? What about paternal love? What does this have to do with the tower? Hard to explain. The tower crushes us. Try to speak a word against it, and it's as if an invisible blade slices your vocal cords. It did something to our kids. Like they're crossing a river over thin ice and you can't follow, only call after them. Do you know who built it? The Canes, of course. Let the fires of hell take them. Who else? 
If only the Sabarovs ruled this town by themselves, it'd be such a nice place. Well, this is going to ring a little bit hollow, but don't worry about the kids. They're smarter than us. The tower is, of course, the polyhedron. This thing. <clears throat> it was a very, very strange thing in the original Pathologic. Wonder how it is now. Soap. Now I'm good. Right, so even people you can't talk with, like they're not highlighted, you can't talk with them, but you can always trade with basically anybody. Coffee. Ooh, they'll take a fingernail. That sounds gross to say here's a fingernail for four. Hmm. Okay, where am I going? I still want to find my friends before I go back to our house. Our house? I don't know if we lived at this specific house when we were here as a kid. Probably. Hmm. Well, I'll wander in that direction. That should be fine, right? Like, let's... Let's... Go this way. No, let's actually speak with every tragedy and we see because they're helping us. That sounds good. This thirst keeps driving down towards my death. Drink some water then? I have no water, sir. You see then how I suffer knowing no solution. Same here. Indeed. See me act out your fate, dear fool. Help! Someone help! This thirst is soon to kill me. Keep it up. I want to know how it ends. You die, my friend. That's how it ends. Water is all around, though puddles make poor drinks. Sip then from fountain spouts, from barrel bungs. A bottle is all that you need. Here, have one. Thanks for the bottle, foolish man. Hmm. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to go over to where I know the canes to be, which is here. I keep forgetting to look at the time when I enter a conversation. Hey, the tragedy, the tragedy, what the hell? They were gone and now they're there. What, what just happened? Okay, that's weird. What is that? Is that a tragedian mask up there? Yeah, the marrow, what is this? Huge beast. Um, this is the theater, I believe. There's the tip of the polyhedron over there. Is this your money, sir? I think you dropped your purse. Is this some kind of test of character? Save money, sir. You'll need it yet. Hmm. 
An optimist, I see. Alas, today is not the day for commerce. Suspicious folk from out of town are outlawed. But there's a shop that deals in stolen loot, stood among the warehouses, trading with all sorts and no regard for reputation. So you may find a use for money yet. You think so? Should you restore your reputation, sir, would you then wish to seek its ruin anew with theft and robbery? No, of course you wouldn't. But trust and trade, for coins cannot recall from whence they came. <clears throat> Indeed, they're man's best friend. Thank you for the money. Oh, what got highlighted? One can buy things in this shop no matter their reputation. Okay. Yeah, I remember the warehouse store from this creepy person. I forgot their name. I occasionally bought stuff from, stuff from them. Oh, it's chained up. Man, I keep getting such an eerie feeling because the geography of this place is so similar to how it was before. Like, it's really... I, I recognize this place. A thimble. Useless in a town that forbids sharp objects. Still good for sewing. Smoked meat, that would be good. Uh, I don't have the stuff for tra to trade for it, though. Needle would be good for picking stuff. Can be used to pick small locks, such as the ones in cabinet drawers. Oh, so like a proper lock pick can pick a door, but something like a needle can only be used to pick like a, a drawer, not a door. <clears throat> well, I don't want to double pay for it with that charm, so... Nope. B pick lock, they'll know. So I can just pick a random house's lock. Uh, what if I knock? The tenants trust you for now. Oh, they're letting me in. I thought they were just going to come to the door and talk. Okay, so I obviously should not steal anything unless I want to piss the people off. Hi. Yeah, anything highlighted in red shows that you can't just take it. So, like, I guess if you need more people to trade with, you can go into a place like this. Or, of course, if you wanted to kill them and just steal their stuff. Candle stub. Needle thread. Man, I love how the characters look. They all look so fucking good. Safety pin. Both safe and unsafe at the same time. Hmm. I wonder what that would be good for. Let's uh, actually trade for it. Use my charm to buy... Hmm, actually, I could just get two needles. That might be better. Maybe. I don't know. I just don't know what the safety pin is used for. Let's get it just out of curiosity. Damn, there's a lot of people in here. But yeah, I'm not going to be able to talk to anybody, right? I don't think so. I think this is more for looting. I mean, just going into some random person's house, you're not going to find anybody important. God, the game is so pretty. Thank you for your hospitality. Now let's look at that safety pin. Murky the Orphan says that safety pins are like people. Open or closed, they always have a pointy end. Is that just a trade item then? Potentially with somebody? Like a kid maybe? I can't use it as a weapon. I have no idea. I might have just bought complete trash. Um, let's try to take this bridge over to here. Still trying to head towards the canes.
Well, actually, let's see if I can get in through the front door of the theater. It doesn't look locked. Aha! Uh -huh. Mark Immortel. Hello. There you are. Oh, that is gorgeous. Ooh, my hunger's pretty high. Hmm. Well, a smoked fish. I should save the smoked fish, right? Eat the fresh stuff first, of course. I'm just... I'm. Let's just eat it now. We're at like 75%, 80% hunger. How much does that do? Oh, Jesus. That does not do much. It's almost noon. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. Our theater has seen better days. The repertory is getting stale. Same play over and over again. It's beginning to get on my nerves. What play is it? It's about death. Hot on its trail, so to speak. I've already tried to stage this study once, but it didn't work out. The acting was bad. No one understood what they were playing. How can you be a cane, a Baroque, or a sinister Katerina if you don't walk their paths? No one grasped their character. This time it will be different. I feel like this is, I think this might be self-referential. I think Ice Pick Lodge might be talking about their their first go at the game. Pathologic 1, especially the not Pathologic 1, the classic HD remaster, but just the original Pathologic, which in case you don't know, the English translation for that was extraordinarily poor and made it basically unplayable, at least ununderstandable. And I think they might be talking about that. Right? The acting was bad. No one understood what they were playing. How can you be uh, blah 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 if you don't walk their paths? No one grasped their character. This time in Pathologic 2, it will be different. I think is what they're saying. I like the self-referentialness. It doesn't feel out of place because, you know, this whole thing is set up like it's all a play. So it's already kind of, I don't know, meta. What do you mean? I want full authenticity. I will move the play outside into the streets. Actors play out real events while being in the middle of them. The audience doesn't know they're in a play. The actors, that they're being watched. Such is my method. Intricate. The actor must understand how to work death. I'm not making this one for the audience, but for the actors themselves. Their inner world is the stage their worldview. Hence the unusual methods, unusual and rough. It's the theater of cruelty. Just how rough are we talking here? Look, I do what the subject demands of me. I'll set your tasks gradually and uncover the method step by step, else you'll sabotage the process. You're here for an audition after all, aren't you? Hmm. No, yes, or this one, which is rather interesting. I'm not an actor. From what I can tell, I'm one of the people your actors will play. A person directly involved in the events. Yeah, somebody in this position, they would... No, we're going to embody the character. The character doesn't feel like an actor. I'm not an actor. Ooh, what did that do? Oh, it just put another... Another people in my list. You can either buy daily bread or barter for it. There's always burglary, too. <laughs> the Gorgon water is polluted. To quench thirst, we'll have to search for water barrels and fountains. 
If I don't find a place to hit the cot, I'll become dead tired, perhaps literally. Shop knock a deer, a clay golem of local legend, steals the shape of a young woman. Yeah, so these are sort of like, not necessarily quests, but just like important things that you may want to consider. Needs and just kind of like broad strokes of things that you're currently doing. What's behind stage? so dark. Nothing back there at all. I don't want to waste too much time by exploring a place like this. When there's nothing here. But what if there isn't nothing here? Let's go upstairs. Yeah, I'm not even getting any symbols on these doors, not locked or anything, just like they don't exist. Okay, yeah. I'm wasting my time. Right, cross this bridge. Look at these large stones, these slabs. The atrium I've just entered. Man, I've got so many bottles. Ooh, a bunch of kids. Oh, I can't talk to any of them, just trade. Yeah, kids are a really important theme, I guess, in Pathologic, both the original and obviously this one. I mean, they basically own that polyhedron up there. It's There's only kids in there. Whoa, look at those birds. That's really cool. Um, let's fill up all these bottles. Watch, tomorrow I'm gonna have like just nasty water. Algae growing in it or something. should be up here on the right. Maybe we should take a stop at the weird floating thing, though. Where where was that? Not the polyhedron, there's another thing. There it is. Just as strange as I remember it. staircase up to the sky with nothing supporting it. An absolutely impossible structure. There's no way something like this could exist. It would fall 